33 million people affected, 10 million lost their homes, about 2,000 are confirmed dead. It seems that uh, Judgment Day is here for Pakistan. Pakistan which has not built a single dam in 40 years. The dams the Chinese are building in Gilgit are contributing to the problem. The entire CPEC white elephant which has been of no use to Pakistan's people has made them poorer. Now Pakistan's FM wants food and vegetables from India. What should we do? Well, let's have that conversation. Joining us at this point is Ambassador Deepak Bora, former diplomat. We also have Brigadier Shah Dindu, international affairs expert joining us live. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense analyst, joins us on the broadcast. Gautam Mukherjee, senior journalist, is also with us on the program. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, you know, come in here on, uh, on this uh, very, very troubling situation for Pakistan that has developed uh, with, of course, floods everywhere from South Pakistan to Gilgit, Baltistan to Baluchistan to Sindh. Uh, which way is Pakistan headed currently? Major Mohammad Arisha. Uday, it was expected earlier that Pakistan is going to meet its own doomsday. They were, and they were always hell-bent and they were determined to, to dig their own graves. And yes, as Mr. Gautam Mukherjee said, that you know, it is a national calamity, there is no doubt about it. A national calamity can happen anytime, a rainfall of this order in three decades, 30 years, I mean, this kind of a heavy rainfall. But at the end of the day, again, as you rightly said, that they, they are things they are after which can also be helped. I mean, God helps those who help themselves. So, it, a, one, a person can actually come to aid, but now a helicopter cannot even land, cannot even find a dry strip of land to, to land over there. So that is the street they are. And when such a, since June, over 1000 people in Pakistan have died since June. This is what, this is August? June, July, August. So just look at the kind of devastation, the kind of damage that's happening in Pakistan. I pity that nation, poor thing. They, I, for the first time ever, I am actually having sympathy for Pakistan in the sense that I feel bad for them that they it's come to a state where now they are having to sell their uh, their lions at the rate of a donkey to china and they are made to actually buy the junk that china's their air, the chinese aircraft which no one's which are good for nothing china pakistan is buying now so i feel bad for pakistan right now that's because they are in such a state now should india help or not most certainly india's policy foreign policy has been commendable it has been appreciated by everyone, including our not so friendly neighborhood, Pakistan. So I'm going to have to leave it at that. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us. Let's take a break.